Hello and welcome to another C Sharp programming tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how you can pass an entire array from the main method into another method instead of element by element, which we tried in our last example. So we will make some necessary changes. Let's first go down to the receiver method. And instead of receiving one value at a time, we will now going to change it to an array. And we're going to call this array vals. Of course, a few lines in your code will error out because we removed the parameter, but we will just fix it real quick. So instead of displaying an element at a, uh, a value, we will now going to be displaying the entire array. So we will write similar loop as we wrote in the main method. Now I purposely wrote the variable x over here to talk about one more concept. Because sometimes programmers, the beginners actually are under the impression that once a variable is declared, right in the main I can use it anywhere. And this is to show you that a variable int x was declared in the main. It only exists in the main and the static method receiver method has no idea what x is. The second concept I want to talk about over here is this, that every time you use a variable, you have to declare it. Simple as that. Okay. Now, we're going to write curly braces to show that this loop starts here and it ends right here. Okay. So what we will be doing, what we'll do in this example is we will display one value at a time. And after we are done displaying the value, we will change the value in that placeholder to 999. Now we will have a quick fix here in the main, which now is uh, because the receiver takes the entire array, we will pass the entire array in one shot. So we are passing an array, we are receiving an array. One more item that we have to fix besides fixing the call from a single element to an array is to remove the loop. Otherwise, it will just keep calling this method a gazillion times. So now we will run this method, uh, this program, so that you could see before the call, as at the beginning, what the values are and what are the values after the receiver method was called. So as I run my program, you can see that at the beginning, the values were 100, 120, 245. Even inside the method body, it was 100, 120, 245. But upon coming back after the change, all the values in the main that I'm displaying right at this point after the call, they've all changed to 999. So when you pass an array into an array, it behaves like pass by reference automatically without you telling it's pass by reference. That's exactly how these things behave in Java programming language as well. Catch you in the next tutorial. Have a great day.